when you're in the weeds and you're just coding and looking at the UI, you don't think about this is a life or death situation. When the, the vaccine stuff came around, I knew, do we have the right inventory at the right place and right time? Distribution in West Virginia is managed by the National Guard predominantly. You know, it, it wasn't as efficient as we would like, and we, we were aware of that. But, you know, we're, we're in a pandemic. There's no playbook here. There were a lot of hands in different files. You know, they were working with Excel files. I knew we needed an advanced planning system. And when Major Koss hit the ground, he, he shot me a text and he said, hey, we need a tool. It wasn't even a question. Of course we're going to do that. The project started with just giving them a more automated process for different groups to submit the data that ultimately gave them the information that they needed to develop their distribution plan. Because in our state, we have five distribution hubs. If you look at a map of West Virginia, you can basically touch four corners of the state and you're gonna find a hub and then there's a hub in Charleston. The key priorities were simplicity, right? I mean, we gotta have something where at, at hub level, at user level, they just have to log in, key in a number and hit enter. And we kind of looked at each other and said, we don't have time to build a database. We needed something that was cost effective, but that we could get it up and running quickly. We knew we'd get to a place where they wanted more visualization. These are government entities. There's not an open to the checkbook. This is taxpayer money. We're like, what can do all of that for us? So Shining just became the quick and easy solution that came to mind for both of us. We needed to create something that would ingest, had about 10 different people submitting every week and then aggregating that information into an output that would allow them to make strategic decisions. The manual way, at best, we would get to that finished product Sunday night and, and have to start operations Monday morning. So we're, we're now, ha we have that ready to go by 4 p.m. on Wednesday. The reason we've been able to be successful, I think, is because of this distribution network, knowing where these vaccines are going at any given point. You're going to run into some problems, right, where you may not have the right quantities necessarily at the right place. So that does require some what we call inter-hub transfer, so to speak. Based on the tool we build, we're able to provide like visibility clear through the supply chain. And so we're seeing real-time draining of supply from the hubs. In combat, I'm moving fuel, ammunition, medical supplies, uh, maintenance repair parts, and there's this thing called the enemy out there trying to trying to take you out while you're doing it, right? I've always taken the approach of if you can if you can do it in that environment, you can do it in any environment minus the enemy. Sometimes I have to tell myself like, no, it's actually a huge feat that we've accomplished all of this because it just seems like we've all been doing our jobs. The entire principle behind this is build something in an agile manner that you are going to tear down. And the happiest day of this entire thing is going to be when you turn it off.